A little bit ago, somebody asked me, uh, how do you make the uh, countdown timers work on the PEDs? Uh, it's really not that hard to do. It's really just a matter of uh, flashing lights on and off. So what I got here, this is just a little Arduino that shows me making a, I made a little PED and a little traffic signal. And uh, you can see it flashing the PED right there with the don't walk. And now it's the hold. And then it should go to all red and stay there for a little bit. And then it'll go to the um, the walk phase, and on and on it'll go. And there you go. So what I did was I, I set these guys up. There's four of them here all together. This is an older dial light. Uh, doesn't work too good. The, the man doesn't uh, come up pretty clear. This is just your basic man and hand type. This is a newer style dial light with the countdown built into it. And this is a GE um, ped. And what I've done was I built up a system here and you can see here this is all 120 volts here and it's actually running right at the moment the uh the program on here and it's lighting it up even though i don't have any power going to the uh, the actual peds or or the traffic light here i have sitting here as well and um what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to make these peds count down and it's not that hard it's no harder than what i'm doing here as a matter of fact this one has the same program on it that this one has on it. It's just that here we have a little tiny traffic light and a little tiny ped working with it that I made. I just made that out of paper. It's just uh, to show you can barely see the, the hand and the man guy work, working there. I don't know if you can. But when he goes through that, you can see him, but that eh, doesn't matter. That's, I just made that just to, uh, to demonstrate it as well. So uh, this one will count down. Needless to say, this old GE one will not, because it's it's just a man in a hand. And uh, so let's look at our program here. This is my Arduino program that I built for this. And uh, let me get on here uh, correctly. Uh, go all the way to the top. This is nothing like being prepared. So we start off with our, we're setting our pin modes. We're gonna be using these five pins, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, two and three are walk, and three is don't walk, four is our red, five is our yellow, and six is going to be our green. And once we tell the Arduino that these are going to be outputs, they'll send a, a digital signal to it. So the first phase we're going to be at is going to be an all red phase. So we send a high to pin three, which is don't walk, and a high to pin four, which is the red. Okay, so, and we hold that for a few seconds. Here I, I have it set for eight seconds. I kind of mind, want this to uh, loop relatively fast. So instead of waiting for it for like 20 or 30 seconds at a time, after it waits for the eight seconds, it's gonna go on to the green signal. So first thing we gotta do, is we have to turn off those, the, the uh, walk and the red light. So we turn those off first, which is right here. So you can see walk doesn't, uh, don't walk turns off, red turns off. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the green cycle. So we turn on the green um, light, and then we turn on the, uh, the walk light. And we're going to wait there for a few seconds, for 10 seconds in all. And um, then we get down to the business part of this here, which everybody's kind of been asking me about, is how do we make the actual PED flash? Well, we do that, or actually count down. We, the PED counts down because of how many flashes it's got. These things were originally built as a direct replacement for the old text style of, uh, you know, where it just said walk and don't walk. So when it got to ped clear, which is the, the part where it counts down, the old lights would just flash don't walk over and over for a set period of time. The, the countdown ones were designed to work just as a direct replacement for those without any, you know, programming difference or whatever. So they could just plop them in there and then it would just count down. It gets that from how many times it cycles through the um the the flashing of the of the hand it does this on the uh on the dial lights here it, this one and this one it only takes one cycle but on this one it takes two cycles the first cycle it, it doesn't display anything just like this one doesn't but then on the second cycle this one will start counting down and this one will just display a zero over here and um then on the, the third cycle through this one will start counting down at the same time as that. Let me get this out of the way here so we can see this. We don't, 
we don't need this guy anymore. So we're just going to move him aside and uh, enjoy that. And then, of course, we have a little um, 8-inch traffic signal here. And this is, I just plugged this up just to give you an idea of what phase we're in in the traffic light. And this is just for a, uh, a single traffic light. There's no two traffic lights or extra stuff. These aren't going to do anything. They're all going to work the same. Okay, so let's look at our uh, program here again. So we're on the next the next loop here. And we're gonna what we're gonna be doing is this is where we're gonna flash the lights on and off and get the countdown timer to work. So what we're gonna use here is we're gonna use a for loop right here. So it says here four. We're gonna initialize J uh, at, and give it a value of one. And then if J is less than ten, we just keep adding one to J until it reaches ten. Once it reaches ten it'll move on. So it's going to keep looping through this um, part of the program. Every time it does, it's going to add one to the to the value of J until it gets to 10. So it's going to keep looping 10 times. And then once it gets to 10, it'll move on to the next phase. So this is kind of the, the part that's going to make your, your display work. And it's easier to do it this way with a for loop uh, program than to write this out. You can easily, you can do it by just turning them on and off each individual one just like you have here but you'd have to do that as many times as you want to count them. so if you wanted it 10 times you'd have to add this section 10 times with the delay and your program would get incredibly long really fast especially if you want to do like 25 or 30 on the on the countdown thing you'd have to have 30 loops 30 of these little loops here to do it but by adding a for loop you just tell it to loop through this 10 times so it's going to go on, off, on, off, on, off, 10 times until once it gets to the 10th one, then we move on to the next phase. So what is the next phase? The next phase is going to be, we're going to turn our green off and we're just going to do a yellow. So we do our yellow and then um, turn the yellow on, green off, yellow, just like in a regular traffic signal. And our don't walk stays on this time. See here, the last one, it was, it turned off. So the next part of that, when we move to the next phase, the yellow phase, we need to turn that 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 uh, that walk or don't walk back on. So we turn it on. We stay through the yellow phase for the, uh, the whole uh, three seconds, and then this program just loops right back to the top. So then from there it goes right back up to the top, and it starts the whole process all over again by giving it you know a solid uh, all red here for eight seconds so so that, that's pretty much it it just, it just it just keeps looping through this uh, process so if we were to look at our displays here everything's off right now I even turned off the Arduino so if we turn it on turn them on the first thing we're gonna see is an all red situation then it's gonna go to uh, green then it's gonna flash uh, the don't or the pet clear then at the end of the peg clear, it's going to turn on the don't walk. It's going to hold it through the yellow. And then the loop, the program's going to loop back up to an all red and hold the all red for the uh, eight seconds. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And you'll see the program has started. And there's our all red. So red on the traffic light and all of our peds are don't walk. So the next phase is green. And walk just like a regular traffic signal should after the few seconds it'll start counting down and we're gonna look at these countdowns you notice nobody's counting right now this one isn't either so once it gets to the 10 it'll hold at the 10 and there we go this is our yellow phase back to the red now the program just started has restarted so on this phase what's gonna happen this one and this one will start counting where this one will not count, it'll just display a zero. And we'll see that here in a second as soon as it goes to the uh, to the peg clear. And there we go. Oh, actually that one started counting. What do you know? Make a liar out of me. <laughs> Normally, this one won't count. And I don't know, maybe it just had a charge for me running it or something. But um, normally, if these haven't been run in a while, this would have displayed a zero in that time, but you know, Go figure, right? But uh, one of the things I want to say is all this equipment runs at 120 volts. The traffic lights, the peds, all of this, all of this 
or half of this actually the half this way so you have to be very careful working with this because if you touch anything uh, you can get one heck of a shock or even die if you're not careful so be careful working with it don't even take a risk i always check to make sure the thing is unplugged before i do anything with the uh, 120 volt side of this stuff because i one thing i hate in this world is getting a shock and this thing will give you one heck of a shock you know but um one of the things you notice too if you listen you don't hear it clicking and that's because these are solid state relays there's no mechanical parts inside of here and i like using these you can get these this uh this array here of eight on ebay i think i paid only like eight dollars for it so it's it's well worth it it makes everything run nice and quiet and that's kind of how the real traffic signals work they use a uh, a load switch and the load switch is nothing more than what this is one maybe it has usually the load switch has three of these in it so uh it's all solid state nowadays so that's that's nice to do it that way and it's safer for your arduino as well because you don't have that you know problem with relays kicking back voltages into your ports on your arduino and blowing your ports out so and you can see here if you look there's our ports two three four five and six just right there hooked up to it and it goes two three four five and six over here and you know when you look at it see we have a green so we're, we're green up oh, there's our uh there's our flashing um ped right there So if you wanted to make this higher value, say, now these are all 10. So if you wanted to make this 20 or, or, or whatever number you want, all you have to do is go in this program and where the, uh, let's get down to it here, down to it in the program. All you have to do is change that value right there, right there, the J equals 10. You can make that J equals 25 if you wanted to, and it'll keep looping through the through the on and off here 25 times or whatever you make it up to 99 i think I, one time i did this and uh i just out of curiosity to see if i get a 99 on here and i did get 99 on this one here uh actually no i'm sorry it was the it was the uh the ge one i did i never tried it with a pet with the uh dial lights but uh, that's that's pretty much it i mean there's really not much to this like i said just be careful working with the 120 volts don't want to get yourself shocked or, or worse um, same thing when you work with traffic signals the traffic signals are all 120 volts even if they have LEDs and these have incandescent bulbs in them and um, I've replaced them with like refrigerator bulbs so they're not like burning your eyeballs out but uh, even in here even with the LED uh, replacement lights in here this is still 120 volts remember these were all designed the new lights these and the LED lights that go in here were all designed as a direct replacement for the old incandescent lights, or in some cases, these were neon uh, on the street. Some of the old GE ones were had neon. Don't walk on them. So definitely want to be careful with that. Uh, I will post the uh, the program here, so you can you can copy it, do whatever you want. I don't care. Uh, enjoy it. You know, modify it. You can actually, you know, from this program, you can add a second signal. And a set of you know a set of uh, another set of uh, peds, uh, and make it make a, a complete intersection. And I had done this one time. If you look at some of my other videos, I did that with with just using. Um, I didn't use an Arduino though. I used a PIC microcontroller for that. But uh, that was back then. Now I have an actual complete um, traffic control system, a, re a regular one like you'd see on the side of the road. But this is a lot of people ask me, how in the heck do I make these things count down? And uh, it's really not that hard. Like I said, it's just a matter of flashing them, just like they were originally built for. You know, they're going to work like that. They were originally designed for that. But it will take that, and then it will count down. The, it's inside the actual the display itself, thus the counting down from the flash. So uh, if you have any questions, you know, post them. I'll, I'll try to answer everything that uh, I can. Uh, if you see something I messed up with, go ahead and uh, let me know on that. And uh, I'm more, more, to, more welcome to uh, entertain anything that you know if I've said something wrong or programming wrong. I'm no expert at Arduino, that's for sure. Um, this is how I make it work. If I did, if there's a better way to do it, I'd, I'd certainly like to know it. Um, hit, click subscribe if you want to. I always I try to produce uh, you know videos. I'm not uh, like a regular YouTube uh, stuff. I just 
uh, pretty much post whatever I'm interested in. So I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll just watch this countdown. And once it gets to zero, we'll, uh, we'll end it there at that.